pretty epic day on the island of Sodor, and all the engines were working hard to please their obese overlord. However, one engine was more interested in being mischievous. That engine was Diesel. That would be a good joke. And what I'm saying is that Duck has only become more of a jerk since. I mean, he beat me up twice, gave Henry illegal steroids, and Percy is convinced that he sent him across dimensions. You do realize Percy thinks unicorns are real, right? Well, I'm sorry for believing in something. <laughs> Where did he come from? I've kind of accepted that Thomas's inner circle can just defy reality. How did they defy the purchasing of a home, Mr. Oliver? Don't acknowledge him. Yeah. Oh, I'm an airplane now, Mr. Oliver! Yeah, I can't wait for this vacation. What the frick? Terrorism, Mr. Oliver! <laughs> uh, got him. What the frick, man? What? It was a joke. Diesel always likes pulling devious tricks. I mean, it's in his freaking title. Every day, he always tries to spread his evil ways on Sodor. No one listens, but they do find him obnoxious. Hey, Stanford! Where are my coaches? Over there on the side. Wait, where did they go? <laughs> Another trick well done. Wait, 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 what? Oh, oh, frick. There were people in there? Yeah! What's cracking, Diesel? Look, 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 Salty, you don't have to- Now the cops! Aye, aye, Captain. Can I help? No thanks, buttface. <sighs> Nobody likes me. Hey, great job. You said something right for once, you plebeian-level comedy piece of subhuman garbage. Well, crap. The court is now in session. Diesel, you've been found guilty for every crime imaginable. Frick, I was going for that record. In fact, you've done some stuff that wasn't even against the law before you came here. Your picture is in the book. He's the reason I can't buy Twinkies at Kmart in a Speedo anymore. Why would you want that in the, in the first place? Clearly you don't know anything about the joys of life. Order! Diesel, your record is so bad that no one wanted to be your lawyer. So let's cut to the chase. You're hereby sentenced to... One day of community service. Really? That's it? Talk back to me again and I'll make it one and a half. No! Not one and a half! Very well. You are to be partnered up with an engine just as horrible as you are. God have mercy on your soul. And so then I took Edward's train from him, and those stupid trucks pushed me down the hill, and then Sir Top Matt got mad at me. Can you believe it? No way, man. I... Totally can't believe it. Right? And the next week, I saw James and- Question! Do you ever shut up? Oh, okay, Mr. Revolutionary Ted Talker. Just clean up the trash, you moron! I was just trying to have a conversation, oiler! Hey, that is an offensive word, puffball! Ah! Throw your trash in the can! <laughs> oh yeah, very funny. You should see your face right now. <laughs> ah! Oh, does that hurt? Yes! A two-ton machine just got thrown on my face! Who litters an entire industrial-sized machine? Looks like being a superior engine couldn't help you there. You really want to have this talk right now? I am superior. While you do nothing, I do the work of three. All you do is look cool for tourists. You, you think it's easy being the main character? I have to deal with not just the others, but with the stupid freaking narrator ruining my life. What are you even talking about? What narrator? You have it easy. You work a life of ease. I, I would kill, kill for a day, day in the place. What? What just happened? The machine fired off. What? Wait. You look like. Ah! What are you doing in my body? What are you doing in mine?
the machine must have swapped our minds. You jumped to that conclusion pretty quick, huh? I'm a scientist. I also have eyes. Okay, since you know so much, change is back. It's out of fuel. What? Hello, Strange. I have some very important jobs for you today. Y you do realize we're in the middle of community service, right? Yes, Diesel, but here's the thing. I don't care. Uh, sir, I'm actually top- Shh! You wanna break his mind? Yeah, okay then. Diesel, I need you to take some fuel to the scrapyard. W wh what what but- Too bad. Go on, Diesel. Yes, sir. And me, sir? Well... <laughs> So colorful. Hi, Thomas. Yeah. Jeez, you startled me. Oh, sorry, Thomas. I've just been looking for you. Do you know where I have to take these goods? To the chocolate factory, of course. I hate this island so much. Now you sound more like yourself. I like that. Right. I'm leaving now. Wait, don't go! Greetings, Diesel. Oh, hey, Derek. What are you doing here? Well, I used to work at the China Playworks, but now I work here because Bill and Ben put reported me for... things. You, you know what? I don't want to know, Derek. I just had to drop these trucks off, and then I never want to come back here. Plus, you smell like old Doritos and sadness. N no offense. None taken. I actually strive for that smell at this point. Hey, before you go, do you want to sign this work order so I can go back? I need 50 uh, signals. Sorry, no, uh, can't, uh, gotta see a coach about a train or some crap. I don't know, bye. No, please. You're gonna take away my anime. Alright, are you finished with your work? Yes. Uh, by the way, what is up with your jobs? I had to take a candy train. Everyone was making weird rhymes, and then I made the same mistake three times over, and then Sir Top Matt just forgave me. Yeah, it's strange, but you get used to it by, like, the 50th time it happens. That aside, we need to figure out how to fuel up this machine. Wait, I have an idea. What if instead of looking for this thing's fuel, we look for its builder? Well, who else makes inventions like this? Duck, where are you? I know you're here. Uh, uh hey, Thomas. Wait, what is he doing here? You! Uh, why did Thomas talk to me like he hates me? Because that's not Thomas, I am! That's Diesel! Uh, hang on, I'm sorry, but- What?! A giant machine fell into a ditch that we were cleaning for community service, uh, long story, and the machine blasted us and swapped our minds. Just admit you made it, Montague, or I am going to make you talk myself. <laughs> what? Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just can't take you seriously when your voice is coming out of Thomas's stupid derby face. But, uh, hey! What? I, I'm, I'm just being honest, I mean, like, just huh? admit it already. If it makes you feel better, yes, I did make a mind swapping machine, but I, I wasn't going to use it on you guys, even though it, uh, it, it does seem like a really interesting idea. But it's actually because I wanted to swap minds with Sir Topham Hat. <laughs> uh, stop it with the campy music already. Why did you want to swap mines with Sir Topham Hatz? So I could steal his mini-fridge. You're kidding me, right? Nope. That guy has the SICKEST mini-fridge I've ever seen. I needed it. Listen to me. You are gonna swap us back right now, so I can kill you in my own body. <laughs> oh, Thomas, you're hilarious. But yeah, let's do it. This should work, right? Yes, indeed. Unless, uh, something crazy happens. Which shouldn't be a problem since that happens all the time. I don't need to hear your sass, Diesel. Why do you guys even hate each other so much? Science class. Senior year 1957. Those chimpanzees getting those kids were your fault! D just start the machine already. Three, two, one, now! Nice day for it, isn't it? That's right! Wait, 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 wait. Oops. What the frick? I hate you, duck! That's right! Nice day for it, isn't it? Well, uh, second time's the charm. Diesel? Thomas? Yes! <laughs> We're back to normal! Well,. My work here is done. Now I can get to that mini-fridge. Che-hello! 
Jack? Or should I say, mini fridge thief? Frick. Hey, Diesel. I'm sorry for what I said. I shouldn't have said such terrible things to you. And you know what? Steam engines and diesels aren't really so different after all. You know what, Thomas? I accept your apology. But I'm not sorry! Hey yo! I'm still evil! Frick you! Never mind. Goodbye. I take it back. Oh, hello, Mr. Oliver. I'm back from the afterlife. You know what? I really actually missed you after all, Toad. Oh, I thank you, Mr. Oliver! <laughs> yes! Uh, I still got it. Huh. Sorry that you still don't find it funny, Oliver. I want to hate him, but he's such a gentleman. Why, thank you, good sir.